If you want, it's Emily Fox. Today's video is gonna be my first edition of a reading challenge that I am planning on doing all month long, but probably will redo in the future. Essentially, I am doing one week, one shelf. I did do a favorite TBR explaining the whole thing. I will link it down below if you want more of an explanation, but it's pretty straightforward. I pick up a different shelf because they are all divided in genre, and that's the genre I am stuck reading all month long. I did do the picking in the TBR video for the first week, but I didn't mention what it was because I wanted to make it very dramatic, which it's not, it's in the title. Today is the beginning of classics only week, which means from Sunday to Saturday midnight, uh, I can only read classics. So we are going to look at my shelf, which is literally at the bottom behind my chair, and I will be picking up some books that I'm hoping to read. I think I should try and like read at least two books every week. Uh, classics tend to be either really, really big or really, really short, but even the short ones can be kind of long to read. So fingers crossed everything goes well. I will actually check at uh, on my library app if I can find some audiobooks because I do tend to go through audiobooks very regularly. So if I can find one or two at least to go through uh, throughout the week also, that will help my number. So let's check that out. Okay, so this is what the shelf looks like. Um, yeah, it's a little bit of a mess. There are some classic classics, some of them are a little bit more modern classics. Uh, I had been thinking about some of the books I wanted to pick up. The first one being this one, Weathering Heights, which I have never read. Uh, my name is on the waiting list for the library for the audiobooks, so maybe I will go through it that way. Ugh, here it is. Uh, it is a fairly average, actually, size book. But if I'm able to get the audiobook, I can easily go through this in a week. Uh, with that said, let's see if I can find something kind of shorter that I might be able to go through. Because there are other books, a bunch of French classics that I could read, but they're way too big for a week. Um, so let's try to find something maybe shorter. Mm, actually, I've been wanting to read some Russian classics. I've never read any, so maybe this could be a good way to start. It's fairly short. It's like 100 pages, so maybe that. And then, what else, what else? Maybe a Lord of Flies. Is it considered more modern classic? But I mean, whatever, it's still on that shelf, which is the goal, so maybe this. And then, what do I have over here? Mm, what about Frankenstein? I've never read that. Ooh. Okay, that might be it for a good beginning. So I think I have my first pal, at least for the week, the ones I'm hoping to get to. And uh, on my library app, I did put my name on the waiting list uh, for some, but some were already available, including actually Frankenstein. So I might actually start with that one as an audiobook. Uh, I am supposed to be the next one for uh, Wittering Heights. So hopefully <laughs> I'm able to get to that one too as an audiobook. Otherwise I will be uh, trying to read it as a physical book. And then for the physical books, like I said, I am starting, I think, with these two. First one being The Death of Ivan Ilish. <laughs> I will have to look up, I'm actually supposed to pronounce this, but uh, like I was saying, I've never read any uh, Russian classics. And honestly, I tend to uh, not read a lot of classics. I do have a minor in French literature, so I've read a ton of French classics. That's kind of why I haven't been reading that many on this channel, because I'm kind of a little sick of the whole thing, but there are still a long list. There's a long list still of books that I'm looking forward to reading one day. So I thought maybe a short one might not be a bad way to uh, start to do this. And I'm kind of glad I'm doing this for a whole week because I've been wanting to do these, uh, like forcing myself to read one genre for a whole month, but I feel like it's too much of a commitment. So one week might not be a bad way to do this. And then last but not least, uh, I am hoping to also get to Lord of Flies, which like I was saying, I think this might be considered more of a modern classics really than a classic, but uh, I've never read this. I know it's about, from what I've heard, I know it's kids and things get very, very dark, but <laughs> are they stuck on an island or something? We'll see if I get to that one, but those are the four books I think I will try um, to get to this week. Like I said, my goal is to try and read at least two. Three, I feel like would be a better number. Uh, they were not very big like all of these the bigger ones are like 200 and something pages. So there are fairly reasonably sized uh, so That could be something I can try and accomplish at least three would be nice. So Day one we are Sunday. I will see you a little bit later whenever I finish 
one, maybe more. <laughs> so I thought I would take Dubrashini to film in front of my Christmas tree because I still haven't removed it. I probably will need to quite soon. Uh, day one update, I have read 37 pages of book one. Um, in my defense, it is kind of slow. It is a classic, right? I am getting a little confused with the names because they all have like three names and it's not something I am personally used to. But I think it's going to be quite slow. I'm not sure how much I'm enjoying it because again, <laughs> 37 pages. But you know, I'm now at chapter four. And as for the audiobook, I'm currently recording on my phone, so I can't show you. But I'm at 7% <laughs> into uh, Weathering Heights, which so far I'm a little confused. It seems kind of aggressive as an audiobook, which sounds weird, but... I think that once I'm done, if it keeps going that way, I'll sh like make you listen to an extract because it's kind of stressful. Usually I'll like listen to audiobooks at night, uh, you know, getting unready, showering and everything, and sometimes a little before bed, and I'm not sure it's gonna <laughs> work for me because it's not gonna relax me, but I will attempt it tonight and I will keep you updated. Okay, so we are very early morning of day five, so I wanted to update you because last night I finished my first book, Weathering Heights, and I listened to it mostly as an audiobook, and I'm realizing now that I can't, I wanted to make you listen to an extract, so I'm gonna have to remind myself to do that the last day, because it's on my phone and I'm filming on my phone, so I can't make you listen to it. But the audiobook is so aggressive and like negative. I didn't realize how bad it was until I watched the movie. The movie is so silent compared to the audiobook. It's a completely different vibe. Anyway, it was my first time ever uh, I knew exactly nothing about this classic, and it's pretty dark. Uh, I'm just gonna, I feel like a lot of classics I was reading were not like that. I did enjoy the writing. The characters are pretty detestable, really. Um, they're meant to be, obviously, but yeah, the audiobook really gave me a completely different vibe than the movie. The movie was okay. I There was so many different versions. I think I watched the 2009, I'll confirm on the screen, um, but yeah. I have very mixed feelings so far. I'm gonna give myself a few more days to think it over, but like probably a three stars. I can't say I enjoyed myself, uh, but keep in mind when I do give a rating to a book, it's usually based on my enjoyment. So a book could be like amazingly written, but since I was bored reading it, it will lower the rating. So yeah, I'm a little torn with this one. I feel like a lot of people love it and a lot of people hate it and I'm just in between. <laughs> as far as the other books that I'm reading, um, I had mentioned, I believe, in my first update that I had read 30-something pages of this one. I have read none since. I have had no time to sit down, but I will make an effort uh, probably tomorrow or the last day to actually finish this because it's going to finally be the weekend, so I'm going to have more time. So I do want to finish this because I had enjoyed the writing. It's just no time. But uh, the good news is that I am starting today the audiobook of book number two or three, <laughs> which is Frankenstein, which... I uh, I feel like we all know what this is, yet we know nothing. That's how I'm feeling over this. So we know about the monster, but I've never read this. I haven't heard anyone actually mention that they've read this, at least in real life. On YouTube, it's a different story. Uh, so yeah, I'm starting the audiobook today. Hopefully I can read it all. It might be a little ambitious, but hopefully I enjoy it. I'll beat you later. I am officially done with my one week, one shelf challenge for classics. And I wanted to update you on the books I have finished or started because technically I've only finished two and a half. So uh, one thing I wanted to mention because I forgot to say that in my update when I mentioned I finished with the Ring Heights is that I don't recommend the audiobook. Not just because I was mentioning how it sounded quite aggressive, I'll make you listen to that in a second, uh, but also the way the narration is done because uh, the timeline is not <laughs> words are hard this morning, straight, uh, uniform, there's a lot of back and forth, plus the story is told by uh, one of their servants, so it got a little confusing as an audiobook, I don't really recommend it for that, plus, like I said, <laughs> the narration. While we're at it, uh, in case you don't know what it is, it's, it's essentially like a revenge story, would you agree? Two siblings are raised with an orphan that was brought back by their dad and they don't really get along, especially the son and 
said boy Heathcliff. And eventually the daughter, they kind of start something, you can feel some tension. Um, but eventually she gets engaged to someone else, one of the neighbors who has better uh, social standing and more money. And he gets very angry, goes in uh, the world and comes back to seek revenge and does so. It gets very intense and very dramatic, like a lot of classics. And I overall enjoyed it, but but I feel like it's so negative that it's kind of hard for me to be like, yeah, I adore this book. I don't know. Uh, let me try and like back somewhere randomly in the audiobook so you can listen to what I mean by the voice and narration. Insisted on her reading less and taking more exercise. She had his companionship no longer. I esteemed it a duty to supply its lack as much as possible with. Like, I don't know if it's just me. All I'm saying is that audiobooks often I'll use them whenever I'm getting ready or unready at night and I found myself not being wanting to actually listen to this as I was getting unready and getting ready for bed and everything because I found it so like intense and it is an intense book I guess but I don't know maybe it's just me who cares so <laughs> next book I just finished was our second classic which is the death of Ivan oh, I didn't look it up Ibish I realized towards the end that there's actually a second short story in here, which is called Three Deaths. So I did read that one too, since it was in here. Uh, I didn't really have much of an opinion on it because it's like 20 pages, but the main story, what I do want to say, first version classics, the writing was great. It really reminded me of what I like in classics. Same thing with the next one. I find them kind of soothing. When, even whenever they are kind of negative, just their writing style, it's just very slow and rich and interesting and this one I, what I especially liked was it's a very dark story you're following the last days of the main character and how he's slowly sinking into madness because of the pain and I found myself feeling his emotions and really feeling like the way he was describing not wanting to die and everything and it made me feel super uncomfortable but in a good way because it means the writing is so well done that it affects you and it's kind of mind-blowing the fact that this book was written so long ago but that aspect of humanity is still so relevant and yeah what I'm gonna say is that I did enjoy this. Uh, it is worth a read. First version classic, don't know if it's exactly the best way of doing it, but I did enjoy it and it makes me want to read more from this author. And lastly, I said in a half, exactly, <laughs> actually, I listened to half the audiobook of Frankenstein and it was my first time reading anything by this author. And I have to say, amazing writing, like really, really great. It suited the audiobook really, really well too. Um, I did wish I could finish it. I probably would have read a little bit more if it weren't for one thing. Uh, like I was mentioning earlier, I didn't know anything about the story except, you know, Frankenstein created this monster and he does, but I didn't know anything else except that. And it was interesting to kind of get that backstory a lot more. And then you get to a point in the narration where it becomes about the monster telling his life. And I was so bored. I am so bored in that section. I do want to push through. I do have a few more days uh, before I have to give back the audiobook to my library, but I am doing more challenges the rest of the month. So maybe in between books I will have time. If not, I'll just get it back later and finish it uh, this year. But this section is very, very boring. I just have to say it. But the writing is really pretty. And uh, I do still want to know how it ends because again, I'm only 50% into it. But Overall, even though <laughs> uh, I'm leaving this on a negative note, uh, I do still want to say that it's a really great gothic thriller and that the writing is great and definitely is making me still want to push through. So I think overall I did not too badly. I was kind of scared of doing this challenge, obviously not really my fault, it was the jar I chose, but reading only classics for a week, finishing two and a half is still pretty good. Obviously they weren't huge, but they weren't that small. Let's start with the first one I finished was just over 300 pages. So that's pretty decent size. And then this one was like 113 and this one is 220, but I'm halfway through. So I've read about 500 pages this week, which is pretty good. So overall, I do think it was, this was an enjoyable challenge. It's something I do want to redo in the future, try to read more classics. Um, I mean, I wanted to say I was going to make it a point this year to read more than last year, but I've read zero last year, so 
two and a half is already so much better. Uh, but hopefully I can finish Frankenstein later this year and maybe pick up a few more. So in the comment section, please let me know. What are your favorite classics? Have you read any of these? What did you think of them? I would be curious to hear other people's opinion, especially on Weathering Heights. I'm so torn about how I feel about it. So this was week one of one week, one shelf for my reading challenge for February. So I will have to go and pick up a new challenge for next week. So keep an eye out because next week I will have read a completely different genre all week long. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thumbs up, subscribe, more videos on the screen that I recommend you check out. And I shall see you in my next one very soon. Bye.